हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल्स नॉर्थ ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे आई विद्यासागर इज प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स टू डिस्कस सब्जेक्ट साइंस द चैप्टर नेम इज फाइवर टू फेवरेट विद ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट द वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द types of fibers there are two types of fibers mainly one is artificials and second is naturals so i have written here types of fibers natural and artificial fibers here you just know about it there are two types of fibers one is natural and second is synthetic synthetic fiber is also called as artificial fibers again natural fibers is divided into two categories vegetal vegetable fibers and the animal fibers vegetable fibers are also categorized on the basis of the fiber obtained from the seeds from the leaves and from the stems so there are three types of vegetable fibers one fibers obtained from the seeds for example cotton and kapok second fibers obtained from the stems just like linen and jute and hemp also obtained from the stem of the plants and the third fiber obtained from the leaves just like cords and uh, it is used in making mats and carpets so there are three types of fibers which is obtained from the three things of the plants first leaf seeds and stems so i have written all these things here second <clears throat> another types of fibers that is mineral fiber mineral fiber that is obtained from the mines it is obtained from mines and the good example of mineral fiber are asbestos so these are the uh, minerals fibers and the natural fibers now let us comes to synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are those fibers they are durable in natures and having high tensile strength and uh, accumulating its disadvantages these are the advantages durable and having high tensile strength but disadvantage of synthetic fiber is that it is accumulating a static electricity that may cause diseases a skin diseases in our body and it has poor durability so it is not important very much in our wearing dress materials so these are the fibers now look at the another types of fiber that is called as synthetic fiber it is very uh, a strong in nature because having high tensile uh, strength and it is most durable clothing materials so it has the importance of synthetic fibers there are many types of synthetic fibers just like nylon dacron terylene and orlone these are the synthetic fibers nylon is named after the name of two big cities belonging uh, for two scientists first uh, new york and the second is london so new york uh, and the london uh, combined together uh, to produce the nylon ni from new york and the lon from 
London. So the names uh, arranged from these two cities are termed as nylon, and uh, second, uh, it is uh, manufactured with the uh, hexamethyl ethylene and uh, ADPK seeds uh, or toclaps to get seeds like a structure which is divided in chips. These chips are melted in autoclaves and passed through a, spir a, spinner, a spinner, a spinnerate to get uh, nylon fibers. So these are nylon. Another is decoron. Decoron fibers of polymers class are prepared by condensation of dibasic acids with dihydric alcohols. Terylene is also another kind of synthetic fibers which is obtained <coughs> uh, from this process. So decron or terylene. These are decron or terylenes. These are decron or terylenes and it says uh, it shows very good characteristics just like uh, low water absorbency greater strength they can be easily dried these are the properties of uh, terylenes and uh, now look at orlon orlon <coughs> is uh, a polyacrylic fiber it was discovered in 1948 and it shows the characteristics of elasticity and uh, it is not affected by acids and sunlight also so these are the synthetic fibers now comes to know about natural fibers one by one so first i am going to discuss one of the best natural fibers that is called silk and silk is very unique fibers in our daily lives because it has more luster Mm, lustrous capacity and um, it is uh, uh, so soft and uh, while wearing and uh, provide more comfort to our body so it is very useful for us now it is a type of natural fibers and uh, artificial silk is also made uh, by some another process so there are two types of silk first is natural silk and another is artificial silk that is called as rayon natural silk is uh, uh, obtained from the co uh, cocoons of the silkworms and it has two glands situated on either sides of its body its characteristics are unusual because it can be a stretch up to 800 to 1500 meters file diameter of 0 0.0059 to 0 0.0118 inch and the color of fibers the uh, having various colors and it is good brightness it has good brightness and so it is lustrous and uh, strength is uh, much stronger and uh, shows elasticity and uh, resiliency flexibility and crease resistance high uh, hygroscopic moisture and effect of uh, heat also shown by us and effect of acids and bases uh, like uh, acids uh, sulfuric acids and destroy the silk fibers uh, and affinity of metallic salts silk fibers uh, have affinity for metallic salts and weights of silk is increased by these metallic salts taffeta silk is an example of metallic silks so these are the silks there are uh, one another types of silk that is called artificial silk or rayon you have known about it and uh, it is prepared by five process one is nitrocellulose 
सेकेंड इज क्यूप्रा एमोनियम प्रोसेस थर्ड इज भिस्कस प्रोसेस फोर्थ इज एसिटेट प्रोसेस एंड फाइव फिफ्थ इज मर्सी राइजेशन प्रोसेस सो दीज आर द प्रोसेस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल सिल्क नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द नेचुरल एंड आर्टिफिशियल सिल्क्स सो नेचुरल सिल्क इज ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम द सिल्क कॉर्म एंड इट इज प्रिपेयर आर्टिफिशियल सिल्क इज प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द सेलुलोज एंड इट नेचुरल सिल्क इज प्रोटीजीनिया प्रोटीनियस मटेरियल बट आर्टिफिशियल सिल्क इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन हैविंग द मटेरियल ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन नेचर्स सो दीज आर द मेन डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन आर्टिफिशियल एंड नेचुरल सिल्क नाउ लेटेस्ट डिस्कस वन अनदर काइंड ऑफ नेचुरल फाइबर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉटन सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर अबाउट कॉटन एंड इन इट वी हैव टू डिस्कस इट्स कल्टिवेशन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स टाइप्स एंड यूजेज कॉटन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कम्फर्टेबल क्लॉथ्स क्लॉथिंग मटेरियल्स इन आवर डेली लाइफ इट प्रोवाइड्स मोर कम्फर्ट इन आवर लाइफ सो इट इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस यूजफुल क्लॉथिंग मटेरियल्स दैट इज अ टाइप ऑफ नेचुरल फाइबर्स एंड इट इज कल्टिवेटेड इन ट्रॉपिकल इन्वायरमेंट एंड ट्रॉपिकल इन्वायरमेंट वेयर द रेनफॉल इज अबाउट थर्टी टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स एंड द हॉट द डिग्री ऑफ टेम्परेचर शुड बी हॉट एटलीस्ट टू हंड्रेड हॉट डेज इन अयर फॉर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ कॉटन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट इज फॉर्स्ट एंड हार्मफुल फॉर कॉटन plants uh, and so cotton is uh, cultivated in uh, tropical environments and the soil required for its cultivation should be black sandy soil so these are the uh, environmental and geographical uh, requirement of the cultivation of cotton now uh, how it is cultivated Uh, the cultivation includes uh, many several process just like collection of pods ginning boiling opening of uh, boiling and blending carding of cottons and a uh, spinning of cotton yarns it is done by two ways one is uh, uh, by hand spindles that is called uh, tuckle and second is uh, wheel charkha and the third is industrial a spinning of a spinning of cottons these are done in in many steps and after all these we obtain fibers and then fibers is converted to making yarns and the yarn is again used to make fabric so this includes many uh, steps yarn to fibers are obtained by weaving and uh, weaving is done by two ways uh, one is hand loom and uh, another is power uh, by using power looms and uh, it use also wrap and uh, weft methods the second is uh, uh, knitting yarn to fabric is also um, obtained from knitting and it is also done um, by many ways it includes weaving fishing and dyeing and printing also these are the steps involved in the uh, making fabric from the yarns and to in this way we obtained cottons fabric now what is the characteristics of cotton fabrics cotton fabrics uh, is uh, very good in compositions it is mainly made up of cellulose and uh, bleached cotton is purest and raw cotton has 5% uh, impurities second uh, length diameter and uh, convolution of cotton fibers the quality of cotton is measured in terms of its uh, now a strength and tensile strength uh, 
is not very strong and it shows good elasticity very less natural elasticity uh, and the heat conductivity it uh, has uh, good heat conductivity and the effect of friction is also very low uh, effect of light it may it color may become dull and affinity towards color uh, cotton colors can be easily dyed by wet dyes and effect of all acid and alkalis are if a cotton is affected from it and the effect of perspiration cotton cloths absorbs sweat quickly and gives out smells but becomes low after sometimes so these are the characteristics of cottons now types of cotton three types are important but generally eight types of cottons first calico planet Quadra, uh, Senils and Crepe, Denim, Printed Cotton, Long Cotton, it is are the types of cotton. Usage of cottons, it is used in uh, hospital absorbent, as uh, absorbents and cotton blended with polyesters also and it is used in making rayon also and it absorbs lal large amount of water so it is used also in mopping in household cleaning so these are the uses of cottons so i have written all these things here and now i am going to discuss one another types of fibers that is jute jute is obtained from the passion plants and it is uh, produced generally in West Bengal and Assam in heavy amounts on larger scales and uh, it is uh, uh, due to manufactures by rating, breaking and switching, carding and drawing. The characteristics of jute uh, is uh, um, very uh, important for us so because it is uh, it has low tensile strength and they have low tensile strength but bright and beautiful and less elastic than cotton fibers. Application of jute fibers, application of jute fiber it is mainly used in manufacturing of bags, ropes and carpets. So these are the applications of jutes and <coughs> Its characteristics is unique in our daily lives. So these are the natural fibers. Now, some important characteristics we need to show while using the fibers as our clothing materials is water absorbing capacity of fibers. So if water absorbing capacity of fiber is low then it is uncomfortable for wearing and we generally don't like to wear these types of clothes. But if the clothes fiber having high water capacity of absorption then it must be comfortable of uh, for wearing and we used to wear such types of clothes uh, that have high water absorbing capacities uh, because it provides more comfortable and uh, uh, we arrange the uh, quality of fibers on the basis of water absorbing capacity as follows first in the in increasing water Increasing order of water absorbing capacity first in the lowest position here we have polyesters after that silk after that cotton and wool have the most water absorbing capacity in this row and one thing you should remember natural fibers have greater water capacity absorbing capacity than synthetic fibers so 
we use uh, we should use natural clothes for wearing uh, rather than synthetic clothes now its history we looked that the history of dressing is started from the early civilization but it is not uh, found some authentic uh, records that prove that the cotton is used from early civilizations because uh, we have uh, read so many records about it and find that the early people used to uh, rearing sheep and goats to obtain wool and uh, so i can say that the wool is used uh, from early civilizations just about uh, 6000 bc ago many years ago at first uh, the human started to use uh, natural fibers that is wool that is obtained from the that was obtained from the animals and then after the development of silk and cotton takes place and its uh, origins uh, recorded as about 3000 bc ago and silk is obtained also from uh, 3000 bc it is originated in china but nowadays uh, china along with except china france japan india also produced more and more amount of silk and clothing is very important uh, having much importance in our life from the early civilization it uh, from early time it is used uh, as the to advance uh, meant of the civilization it is useful in the advancement of civilizations and not it only uh, uh, advanced our civilizations but it uh, also used to provide uh, us as our social status and it also not only provide our social status and it also provide our uh, it also provide the beauty to our personalities and if it provide beauty to our personalities then it must be useful for us to get social status so i have written all these things here the fibers and clothes used to provide social status because it add beauty to our personalities so we must used to wear good clothes and that will be more comfortable for it and in any beige so we must be careful while selection of clothing materials in this video up to here in next video i will come again with the solution of your questions till that i want to say goodbye thank you see you